Fine tuning is a technique that helps provide your models with additional capabilities. The problem is many teams struggle with the configuration of the infrastructure and the data pipelines needed for tuning. In this short three-part video series, we'll show you how to build a production-ready multimodal LLM fine-tuning pipeline. Large language models have a lot of capabilities, but they are trained on broad internet data. They have good general performance about most topics, but may lack domain expertise on specific topics. Prompt engineering with multi-shot prompting can help, but the responses will still be generic and limited to what the model already knows. There are many such models available, for example, our SOTA offering, Gemini. This is where fine tuning comes in. With models like Gemma or MedGemma for healthcare applications, or other models like Llama and Mistral, you can adapt them to your business data, dramatically improving domain accuracy. The result? AI that's consistent with your company's practices and delivers specialized task performance. It's the difference between a generalist and an expert in your field. So here's the bottom line. Fine tuning bridges the gap between general capabilities and specialized performance requirements, enabling AI systems that truly understand your specific domain context. And the impact is measurable. We've seen accuracy improvements of 10x or more on domain-specific tasks, response quality that actually aligns with your company's standards and terminology, models that don't just understand what you're asking, but why you're asking it in context of your specific industry. The future is multimodal. We expect to see about 40% of the LLMs in production being multimodal in 2027, up from just 1% in 2023. With proper infrastructure, you can see up to 75% faster implementation in go-to-market. But it's not without its challenges. Multimodal solutions can be up to four to eight times more resource consuming. Multimodal LLMs are already powering a number of industry use cases like healthcare, retail, manufacturing, and productivity. But here's the reality check. While organizations recognize this transformative potential, most struggle to move from prototype to production. We call this the implementation gap. The difference between recognizing business value and successfully delivering it at scale. This is due to a few key challenges. Firstly, infrastructure complexity. The access to high-end GPUs and TPUs to run this fine-tuning workload are difficult. Stockouts are a constant challenge that teams have to deal with. Multi-node, multi-GPU configuration can be tricky to handle. Many users of accelerators leave lots of performance on the table by not being able to saturate their GPUs and TPUs VRAM. On top of all that, these accelerators are very expensive to run and maintain. The second major challenge is data preparation. For multimodal image models, for example, you need to maintain precise relationships between images and text. Format complexity becomes a real issue. Misaligned image and text pairs can significantly degrade model performance and training efficiency. Plus, you're dealing with diverse file formats, varying resolutions, and the challenge of creating effective training examples that represent your actual use cases. And finally, managing the training workflow has two sets of unique challenges, technical and operational. Teams have to grapple with distributed training config, parameter tuning for multimodal models, checkpoint management across accelerators, and have a robust memory optimization strategy. On the operational side of things, teams need a way to observe training progress, handle errors, schedule resources, and have a proper versioning for experiments and checkpoints. But here's the good news. These barriers aren't insurmountable. With the right approach, you can successfully fine tune and deploy custom models. This is where Google Cloud comes in. We provide the enterprise infrastructure foundation you need, like specialized hardware and accelerators that are optimized specifically for multimodal workloads. Plus managed services like Cloud Batch, Vertex AI, and GKE Autopilot that minimize many complexities we just discussed. Plus, it all comes with production-ready security and compliance controls that enterprises require. In Google Cloud, we have a few different options for deployment. Google Cloud Batch is the simplest and required least amount of infrastructure management. Vertex AI Custom Training gives us MLOps ecosystem integration and managed experiment tracking. While GKE is best for containerized workload and full control over the entire training infrastructure. Each of these choices have their strengths and weaknesses. 
But for this solution, we have decided to go with GKE in autopilot mode, combining the flexibility of Kubernetes with Google Cloud's automated infrastructure management. But infrastructure is just part of the solution. You also need to have the right frameworks. Tools like Axolotl, which we'll cover in detail, provide configuration-driven approaches that dramatically simplify fine-tuning. Combined with ecosystems like Hugging Face and frameworks like PyTorch and Keras, you have everything needed to go from concept to production. In episode three, we'll put all this into practice with a real healthcare example, fine-tuning for melanoma detection using the SimIsaac dataset. We're talking about over 33,000 dermoscopic images for binary classification between malignant and benign lesions. These are high-resolution medical images with expert dermatologist annotations. Check out the resources linked in the description below, and we'll see you in the next video.